All right, uh, grab a box of Kleenex because it's a sad day today. Uh, it is the season finale mm. for season two of our Water Tower Wednesday series. All summer and uh, into the fall, we've relied on you to nominate Water Towers and uh, you've come through with countless, countless emails and we appreciate that. Uh, we do wanna though, uh, uh, take you behind the scenes here a little bit to let you know how we're generating some of this. There is one couple in Brooklyn Park that our producers really love. We want you to meet Kirk and Connie Brown. I don't know if you can see Kirk's shirt. I mean, I can't read it from here, but they tell me it says, ever notice how many towns are named after their tower? <laughs> well, with that Water help? tower humor. <laughs> I like that guy. With help from his kids, Kirk is the creator of minnesotawatertowers.com, where he has documented 1,045 Minnesota water towers. Is that all of them? I don't know if we even know that. I think these are the ones he's been to. Oh my he's goodness. He's not been to all of them. In fact, we spoke with Kirk. He told us, I retired about five years ago, always been interested in water towers. They are the one noticeable feature in many Minnesota towns. For uh, Four years ago, my wife Connie and I bought a travel trailer, which we used to travel to all corners of the state the last three summers. Spent a lot of time on Google Earth by zooming in on a town and looking for a water tower, and this created my list of towns to visit. Now that I have my website, which my kids helped me to create, I now keep an eye and an ear open for new towers or towers that have been repainted. Uh, and he has Water Tower Wednesday to thank for letting him know about the new tower in Rushmore. Ooh. And he says, I'll need to get to Rushmore. Yes, you will. Uh, some of their favorite towers that they've been to include Paul Bunyan's Bobber and Pequot Lakes. I think that made season one of Water Tower Wednesday like when we first launched the segment. Also, he likes the corn cob. That baby's in Rochester. We had a baseball tournament there over the summer and so many people were like, I had no idea there was a corn cob tower here. I was like, well, You need to get him watching Water like, Tower Wednesday. Exactly. Apparently. He also really likes the uh, Highland Park Tower. That's here in St. Paul, not far from the station. It is just a beauty. They open it twice a year for people to go check out the colors and a little history of that too. So that's super fun. And then there's the Cass and Water Tower, which it's the oldest in the state. It was built in 1895. So big thank you to Kirk and Connie for giving us the great ideas that we're getting to share with all of you. And uh, with that, keep your ideas coming. And we now conclude season two of Water Tower Wednesday. But we'll compile your ideas for next year's Water Tower Wednesday, season three. Or we'll just go to that guy's <laughs> website and pick one every day at the more. very last second. <laughs> 